हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टुडेज वीडियो सो आई हैव कम विथ एन वेरी एक्साइटिंग प्रॉब्लम टुडे सो द थिंग दैट इज डिफरेंट टुडे इज द टॉपिक दैट आई हैव चूजन सो टिल नाउ आई हैव बीन फोकसिंग ऑन फंक्शंस एंड आलजीब्रा एंड a bit of uh, calculus okay so today we have shifted to uh, a part where we can use uh, the calculus a bit i would don't say that calculus but it's more of a logical thinking part and today's more uh, the vital concept and the main concept is uh, coordinate geometry so the different aspect of coordinate geometry where we include a bit of trigonometry and solve the distances uh, like and uh, i mean we solve the problems of coordinate geometry especially in straight lines or else we use trigonometry in many of the conics uh, solving problems so today we have, have a, i have taken that concept where many people uh, don't know like uh, don't know how to apply that but i definitely uh, agree that math lovers people who love to solve math problems know this concept so i would categorize this into two people people who know math lovers who know that this uh, like who know this method can easily solve this so i can uh, put that this problem in easy to medium category and people who doesn't know this method but usually solve in long methods so for them it would be medium to tough category so let us start our today's problem so this is a problem find the point on the curve ax square plus 2bxy plus ay square is equal to c and there's a condition given to us that 0 is less than a is less than b is less than c so you can just infer from this that all these are positive numbers whose distance from origin is minimum so you need to find a point on this curve okay you need to find a point on this curve so that the distance from the origin to this point would be minimum that means the a point on the curve that's almost close to the origin that's the closest to the origin compared to any other point so you need to find that so how to deal this problem so before that i just wanted to explain one concept uh, i would uh, take a coordinate axis for that first so this is my y axis and this is my x axis right and uh, yeah so i just uh, mentioned that this is x and this is y and this is my origin 0, 0 and if i just take one point okay uh, yeah this is my point so this is a <coughs> and a line from here in this way yeah so this i would mention it to be point b so i'll just uh, need to take uh, yeah so the thing is ab can be expressed in an equation in various ways isn't it ab can be expressed in various ways but one of the most important and vital uh, way to represent the ab straight line is parametric equation okay it is nothing but parametric equation where we take the help of parametric coordinates so what is parametric coordinate basically the thing is i can just uh, Uh, assume that the distance between a and b is r isn't it if i just assume that distance between a and b is r and the second thing i would use a different thing here and the, i'll just ex- extend this line this line so so that i can just write that that this is an theta okay the angle between a and b and x axis because i'm just drawing this is a line parallel to x axis isn't it uh, from I, i if i assume this to be some uh, c okay so ca is a line which is parallel to x axis so i'm just extending that so that this theta represent that slope uh, like uh, i would say the theta the inclination of ab to the x axis so and if i also need to i also need to write that a point as x1 comma y1 and b as x2 comma y2 okay so x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2 so b x2 can be written as x2 can be written as x2 is equal to x1 into cos theta isn't it x2 can be written as uh, x1 into cos theta sorry this is not x1 into cos theta x2 can be written as or cos theta 
so why am i writing it in this way because you can just see here that it's nothing but a right angle triangle isn't it this is a line uh, let us assume this to be d so db is a line parallel to y axis and uh, ca is a line parallel to x axis so we are extending that and uh, we are finding this to till e let us assume that so c is parallel to x axis so it's a right angle basically and if you see that in a right angle this is a hypotenuse so which is distance which distance is equal to r the ab so i can just take the cos component okay i, I can just take the cos component and here I, that's nothing but x2 minus x1 sorry for my uh, like the mistakes here but the original concept that i need to what that i wanted to tell is how to represent this line that's it so there's a di the distance between a and b is r so the component that i am taking is r cos theta whose distance is, this is the r cos theta isn't it so this is my r cos theta and r cos theta is nothing but because this is x2 at b so this is also x2 and some other y coordinate and this is x1 so the distance between them is x2 minus x1 in the similar way this distance this distance is nothing but r sin theta so just take the component of that so that is nothing but this is y2 and if you just uh, see here this is also some coordinate so it's y1 so this e is nothing but x2 comma y1 so the distance between them is y2 minus y1 which is equal to r sin theta isn't it if x2 minus uh, y2 x2 minus x1 is r sin or cos theta and y2 minus y1 is equal to r sin theta so x2 is nothing but x1 plus r sin theta and y2 is nothing but y1 plus r sin theta so i can represent the point b basically i can represent the point b basically if i know the distance between a and b as well as the distance of the inclination of uh, like the inclination of a b line with the x axis as well as the point a now this is nothing but from here i can just say that r is nothing but x2 minus x1 by sin theta and this one is not, uh, and again you can get a relation here y2 minus y1 by cos theta isn't it so this is my uh, e distance uh, which is equal to ab basically ab distance isn't it so he, in with this like i can just take these help and uh, use this basically in any of my e uh, like the complex curves this is straight line so we generally don't use that but there are a lot of thing a lot of problems where we need to take this help in straight line soon but it this uh, concept is most familiar like this is most uh, useful in the problems where there are uh, complex conics or uh, complex curves uh, to find the minimum distance or maximum distance because we can easily uh, take the help of uh, trigonometric uh, yeah trigonometric equations where we can easily find the maxima and minima isn't it maxima and minima can be easily find uh, like can be easily found out by using the help of trigonometric equation those set of rules and all so that's the reason i am explaining this concept before uh, so that it becomes easier for us to deal this problem so the curve that has been given to us x ax square plus 2b xy plus ay square is equal to c isn't it this is the curve that is given to us now let us assume some point p okay let us some assume some point p which is x comma y let us assume some point p which is x comma y so and the distance between from the origin isn't it so if i just take some curve uh, in this fashion yeah. and uh, some curve in this way so i just need to t i just need to consider this point some point p okay and this is the distance r from if i just assume this to be r okay from origin to point p okay from origin to point p so and this is nothing but x and y using the concept that i have told you just explain now so this is nothing but this x is nothing but x is nothing but r cos theta and y is nothing but r sin theta isn't it x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta because this is the point we are considering and the distance between origin is r origin and p is r op is r so i can just take the x axis coordinate x coordinate to be this and y coordinate to be this which is nothing but r cos theta and r sin theta if i assume this as theta isn't it so i can just put the values in this uh, like i can just put x is equal to r cos theta in it and y is equal to r sin theta in it after substituting that after substituting that i would get an equation in this way a r square cos square theta plus 2 r square y square sin theta into cos theta plus a r square 
sin square theta so this is what i would get is equal to c so i when i see these two equations i get i r square because a r square of cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so a r square a r square plus 2 r square sorry it's there's no more y here 2 r square sin theta cos theta is only there here plus 2 r square sin theta so i can even assume this like uh, not assuming and just convert 2 sin theta cos theta into sin 2 theta i hope uh, you all know that so it becomes uh, r square a r square plus uh, yeah a r square plus this becomes r square sin 2 theta is equal to c so you get r square as c plus c by a sin 2 theta so this is what you get so coming to uh, yeah coming to the next slide he has told that the distance between origin and p should be minimum isn't it the distance between o and p should be minimum so then only we will get a point which is close to the origin so i need to make sure my r square is also minimum the distance between o and p is minimum and what is the distance actually it is r so i need to make sure my r square is minimum and what the what is the value of r square did i get i got r square to be c by a plus b sin 2 theta so if i just consider the trigonometric values of sin 2 theta sin 2 theta oscillates from minus 1 to 1 isn't it sin 2 theta oscillates from minus 1 to 1 so i can just make sure that if my sin 2 theta is 1 so that my denominator gets maximum value so my r square gets minimum so more the value of denominator this is a uh, logical thing like nothing to think a lot of it lot about it so if my uh, denominator is larger then my r square gets minimum isn't it the maximum the denominator the minimum the r square so i just need to make sure this uh, a plus b sin theta uh, like b sin 2 theta is maximum so i need to consider sin 2 theta as 1 so this becomes so this becomes c by a plus b yeah c by a plus b is my r square uh, so this is basically r minimum square so r minimum is nothing but root over c divided by a plus b so this is my r minimum and now the other thing is how when will my sine 2 theta be 1 okay that's my next question like when will sine 2 theta sine 2 theta be 1 if my sine 2 theta is 1 then i need to see that 2 theta is equal to pi by 2 isn't it i need to uh, accept that so theta can be pi by 4 isn't it theta can be five, pi by 4 at the same way in the same way theta can also be pi, 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 pi by 4 isn't it because sine 5 pi by 4 into 2 is sine 5 pi by 2 and sine 5 pi by 2 is nothing but my 1 isn't it so my i can take this theta can be pi by 4 at 5 pi by 4 so and my point so he actually asked us to find the point so and get into the next space uh yeah i'll use the black so when theta is equal to pi by 4 when theta is equal to pi by 4 i get p point to be r by root 2 and r by root 2 which is nothing but root over c by 2 of a plus b and root over uh, c by 2 of a plus b because the same thing basically and when theta is equal to uh, it's 5 pi by 4 I need to make sure like I have written that or not perfectly yeah theta is equal to 5 pi by 4 the point p becomes minus r by root 2 minus r by root 2 I think this would lie in uh, third coordinate so it's basically minus root c of 2 of a plus b and minus of root c by 2 of a plus b yeah I'll just uh, write in a correct way so minus root of c of 2 of a plus b so these are my points so either of this case can be possible so it can be plus or minus uh, plus or minus root like the whole thing this can be in the first coordinate so this is the point actually in the first coordinate in the first coordinate because it's already been mentioned that 0 is less than a is less than b is less than c so definitely all this will be positive so either in the first coordinate or in the third coordinate so these two points can be a case like uh, the totally these things like these are the uh, like if i assume this to be p and this to be uh, actually told us so these two are the possible cases where we get the distance between origin and the p to be minimum so these are that points so if it's an equation 
given so we need to deal uh, this problem using the parametric coordinates i hope you all enjoyed this session so basically it's a medium to tough category to the people to the math lovers who have no idea about this it's like many people have many ideas so if this is idea that uh, they gonna get then it becomes easy to medium category if not it would be a hard uh, i would assume that to be a hard category because uh, the number of steps that you need to follow to get into this uh, problem to solve this problem will be uh, more basically so that's uh, the problem with the another solution so i hope you all enjoyed this so stay tuned for an another exciting problem thank you